news from the region and from around the state. It's Florida Focus. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Jenna Withrow. And I'm Matt Faubert. Today is Tuesday, February 15th, 2011. The verdict is in. Jurors have decided the fate of murder suspect Leon Davis Jr. Joining us now is Laura Monteverdi. What's the latest on the case, Laura? Well, Jenna, jurors deliberated for three hours today before they found Leon Davis Jr. guilty of murdering three people in Lake Wales. Police say Davis set two women on fire after he robbed them in 2007. One victim was pregnant at the time. Prosecutors will seek the death penalty. One rescuer saved dozens of greyhounds from a fiery death early this morning. James Campbell ran through the bur burning building to save 46 greyhounds from a fire at Derby Lane's dog track in St. Petersburg. Firefighters believe electrical problems caused the blaze. No people or animals were hurt. Plans for the St. Pete Pier appear on the horizon today. Tim LaHaye has more in the newsroom. Today, a development company announced its plans for the historic landmark. The city of St. Petersburg has a $50 million budget in store for the pier. The development company, Echelon Holdings, says they will stay within the budget. Their plans include an expanded park, retail shops, and an amphitheater. They will unveil their plans tonight at the Renaissance Benoit. Bad weather may affect the price you pay for clothes. Weather conditions in the U.S., China, Pakistan, and Australia have damaged cotton crops, causing prices to double since last year. Experts predict clothing prices to rise 10% in the next few months. With spring on the way, Home Depot begins hiring seasonal employees to help with their early rush. They will employ 60,000 seasonal employees nationwide. Home Depot will even hire some temps for permanent positions after the season. You can apply now at homedepot.getthejob.com. And finally tonight, nine gannets took flight today after their rescue from the Gulf of Mexico oil spill. The Sunco Seabird Sanctuary of Indian Rocks rescued the birds about six months ago. Uh, they had various different injuries when they arrived to us, but it's time for them to go back to freedom. Thank you for watching Florida Focus. Have a great evening.